so hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to discuss the first problem of weekly contest 267 so the problem is time needed to buy tickets so i will just quickly read the problem statement and then we will see how to approach the problem so there are n people in a line queuing to buy tickets where zero person is at the front of the line and n minus one person is at the back of the line so means that they are n peoples and they are standing in a line so you are given a zero index integer array tickets of length n where the number of tickets that the ith person would like to buy is tickets i so we have given a uh, input array tickets and each uh, element of the tickets array is representing the amount of the tickets that each person will buy okay each person takes exactly one second to buy a ticket a person can only buy one ticket at a time and has to go back to the end of the line in order to buy more tickets if a person does not have any tickets left to buy the person will leave the line so this means that uh, in one second a person can buy a ticket and a person can uh, buy only one ticket at a time and then he has to go at the back of the queue means if he is standing at the front of the queue and then he buys a ticket and the time uh, will increase by one second and then uh, he will go at the back of the queue but if a person does not have any tickets left to buy then the person will leave the line means that uh, if the person is at the front of the queue and he has to buy only one tickets uh, after buying one tickets he will left with zero tickets means that he does not have any tickets left to buy so he will just quickly leave the line and rest of the person will continue to buy the tickets seems good so we have to return the time taken for the person at the position k to finish buying tickets so means we have to uh, return the total amount of time that the person at the position k will take to buy his whole tickets let's say if a person has uh, at a position k has like uh, n tickets so after what amount of time the person will able to buy all the tickets means like he have n tickets so at what time the value of n will become equal to zero here uh, n is not like the number of people in a line uh, i have taken the another reference so let's take a uh, example we have given a tickets array uh, and value of k is 2 so after the first pass uh, everyone will buy the ticket and each of the value of the array will reduce by 1 so it will be look like this 1 2 and 1 now after the second iteration uh, our array will be look like we will reduce again minus 1 that is 0 1 and 0 so now you can see that at position 2 that is 0 1 2 uh, we have got a value 0 this means that now the person is able to buy his whole tickets so now we have to do nothing just we have to return the time taken so uh, when this 0 has came the time has reached to 6 seconds so we just have to simply return the 6 seconds okay seems good so uh, for the second example uh, the ticket array is like 5 triple 1 and k is is equal to 0 so to better understand this like how we are going to approach this problem let's uh, move to the whiteboard and do some simulation and try to make an approach so that we can uh, solve this problem so here we are in the whiteboard and i have taken the second example to form an approach so we have to tell the amount of time taken by the person at position k is equal to zero now if you see that let's try to form an approach so suppose uh, this person at k is equal to zero is at the front of the line so means that he will he is going to buy one ticket and buying one ticket means that uh, it will consume one second so after buying the tickets uh, the value will be reduced to four now since the value is not equal to zero 
that means that the person will continue to move to the back of the queue so here his position will be removed and he will go to the back of the queue and here the value 4 will be written so since after his uh, turn the second person that uh, has to buy only one ticket so after buying one ticket he will just simply leave the queue since the value is become equal to zero and similarly for uh, third and fourth person the value is equal to zero so this means that these person have successfully able to buy the tickets and now they are no more present in the queue and only one percent left that has four tickets to buy so after four seconds uh, the value of the whole array will be equal to zero that means that our process is complete and we have successfully able to buy all the tickets so now we will just have to return the value of the time that is taken after adding all this we will get eight seconds so uh, after eight seconds the person at position uh, k is equal to zero will be able to buy all the tickets so i think we can use the queue data structure here and uh, using queue data structure and some if else condition uh, i think we can solve this whole problem so let's move to the code editor and uh, try to code this approach so as we are going to solve using the queue data structure so we'll just make a queue in c++ and since we have to return an integer total time taken so let's make a variable of int type equal to zero now if we put the indexes uh, of the array this tickets array we can easily do the manipulation and uh, able to solve the problem so let's uh, put the indexes of this tickets array in the queue so now we have put all the indexes of that ticket array in the queue so now just try to iterate the whole queue now while the queue is not empty for every iteration we will uh, increase the value of count and let's take the front of the queue in the uh, variable temp now we just pop it out of the queue so now it's time for the person at position temp to buy a ticket so that means that after buying one ticket the value will be reduced by one it is possible only when the value at a ticket stem is greater than or equal to one then only the person is going to buy a ticket otherwise the value of a ticket stamp will be equal to zero that means that the person has buyed all the tickets or he does not want to buy a ticket then he will just leave the queue so now the person is able to buy one ticket so now we have to check whether uh, it is turn to go at the back of the queue or time for him to leave so when he will leave uh, he will leave when he has to buy zero tickets and the value of k is not equal to 10 that means the position that we are focusing is not equal to 10 okay then only he will leave the queue so if temp not equal to k and tickets temp is equal to zero so we will just continue in the queue and we will not add this person to the uh, back of the queue and if it is equal to k and the person has buy all the tickets that means value at position temp will equal to zero so what will we will do we will just break it from the queue and we will just just return the value of count and if it is not that means that the value is now reduced to one and now it's time for the person to go at the back of the queue continue this whole buying process so we will just do q dot push so i think this should work so let's try to run it for example test case it's showing the correct result and it is matching with the expected answer so let's try to submit so now you can see that the answer is accepted successfully so i hope that uh, you are able to get the solution so if you have any doubt just comment it down i will try to resolve the query as soon as possible so guys that is for this video so now let's meet in the next video till then stay happy stay safe and happy coding